Hello. So I get a lot of questions about uh, the differences between the ADL in-flight weather system and the GSR-56 installed um, weather system. And so I thought I made a short video showing you both in action at the same time. So here we have an iPad which uh, with the ADL Connect app and it's connected to an ADL 200 device. So we are configuring a, a flight to Bergen. As I know, obviously, that there um, is some bad weather up there in Norway today. So we have any, something to show you. So we are going to Bergen, Echo November, Bravo Romeo. Bravo Romeo, we put it in. We put a direct, and there we go. And as uh, this is an ADA 200 device, and we are currently in the aircraft standing on the ground, obviously, um, you see it's connected to the 4G system also. So we are going to switch up for the sake of this test uh, the 4G system to make sure it really downloads uh, the weather over the Iridium satellite. So we have it configured here, and then we go over to our GTN 750, which is connected to the GSR device, and um, we enter the same flight plan to Bergen. Here we go. We go on the map, and we can see further out and see what we configured the same flight plan in here. So now we are going to download the satellite weather on both devices. So we go over to uh, the ADA 200 device. We go on the download page and for this test we are also going to download the Meta and TAF for Bergen. Then we do a single download. You can have um, automatic download, which will be every 50 minutes, but now we do a single download. So this one, off it goes. We see we have good Iridium signal, even here on the ground, and there it goes. Now we switch over to the GTN 750, and we go to weather, and they call it uh, Connect Weather. Go to the menu. And then we go to the Connect settings. And now we have uh, selected uh, the different options. Here you can see you can only select the next 500 miles. So it will not download uh, in infinitive length um, flight plans. But you can uh, configure the width of your corridor, which is uh, on the ADA device, which is fixed. And then we start the request here, and there we can see the progress going on. Oh, here the ADL device, uh, the ADL 200 device is already operating, and there the download is split up in packages. And so it's already received three, and now the four packages. So the download is already completed. And we switch over to the map, and we can see our corridor. And we obviously, you can see quite a lot of radar returns in the Bergen area, so really bad weather. We don't want to go there today. And uh, we can look at the different weather products. So this is the um, this is the radar only. Then we have uh, infrared, which shows the altitude of the clouds. And then we also have some strikes, but there are no uh, lightning today. So at the same time, the GSR-56 device is doing the download, and there you can see um, how many seconds it's remaining. So it works in a little bit differently why the ADA device is transmitting it in packages. This one will count down the download in, uh, in minutes, or in seconds and minutes. So this one is still operating. We can have a look here, and also um, we downloaded um, the Meta. We delete the, we still have some old meta stuff from other days, but here we have um, the 
the meta we uh, the meta we for Bergen we deleted and obviously you can see um, we have gusts up to 46 knots so um, yeah the weather is really bad in there so in the meantime the GSR 56 device also finished the download and we can now close the menu and look at the result on the map and as you can see it's quite uh, similar also there we have some really bad weather in the Bergen area and we go in here and we can see the the bad weather up in in this area as you can see the color coding will be a little bit different so for the, the, this example um the ADA device uh, shows the uh, precipitation in the in this area uh, more in the red and orange to, while in this example the GSR will show it more um in the yellow so they are calibrated a little bit different here on the right, you can see the timestamps for the actual weather product. So in this case, you have uh, 17 minutes age for the precipitation. And on the ADL device, you have a uh, seven minute age on the precipitation. I'm not exactly sure how m often the GSR 56 can update the weather for this area that the ADL device will be able to update it every 15 minutes with a four minute delay. So we are now with seven minutes, we are three minutes after the best point where it would be four minutes old. And when it gets 19 minutes old, we can do another download. So if you ever wondered what this uh, GSR 56 box looks like, here you can see it installed in an aircraft. So it's this uh, silver box you see in the foreground. On the right side you see the connectors, the antenna connector at the bottom and then the data connector at the top. To give you a size comparison, here this is an iPad mini and then we have an ADA150B device just to give you a size comparison of the actual GSR 56 device installed. Now you saw, saw a weather download with the GSR 56 and the ADA 200 device and you see that the results and um, the overall performance is um, quite similar. There are some differences. Um, it's up to you to choose what you like better but I hope this uh, gives you some uh, Yes, an impression to base your decision on. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.